Hi everyone, welcome to another question and answer video. Here, this is a question. With respect to the basilic bean, which statement is false? So, in this question, they want to know about the basilic bean. So, regarding the basilic bean, which statement is false? That means, which is not true regarding basilic bean. Here, the options. Options are its deep anatomical location makes it unsuitable for use as an arteriovenous access site for in fistula surgery it originates from the dorsal venous network on the hand it travels up the medial aspect of the forearm halfway between the shoulder and the elbow it lies deep to the muscle it is joined by the brachial vein to form the axillary vein so we have to find out one of the statement which is not true regarding the basilic vein so first of all let's see the basilic vein so we know that the basilic vein it is one of the superficial vein of the upper limb and there are some other superficial vein also in the upper limb first of all let's see this network this network is the dorsal venous network in upper arm so dorsal venous network in the upper arm from the dorsal venous network basilic vein and cephalic vein formed so the cephalic vein and basilic vein they are formed from the dorsal venous network then we can see after origin it goes anterior to the forearm and here we can see the cephalic vein it runs upward along the lateral aspect of the upper limb on the other hand we can see there this is the basilic vein and this basilic vein it runs upward along the medial aspect of the upper limb and here we can see the basilic vein it goes upward and at this point from the superficial it goes to the deep here the whitish structure is the deep fascia so the structure which lies above the deep fascia it is superficial structure and the structure which lies below the deep fascia this is deep structure so we can see the basilic vein the basilic vein at this point the basilic vein travels from superficial to deep area and here we can see it goes deep in this part on the other hand we can see this is the cephalic vein the cephalic vein it travels superficial and then it finally uh, goes between the two group one is the deltoid and the pectoralis major muscle and finally open it here in this picture we can see this is the basilic vein which is the lies medial aspect and the basilic vein it turbidates or drain into this vein this vein is the brachial vein and brachial vein it continues as a axillary vein and finally the axillary vein it continues as a subclavian vein so the basilic vein it turns into brachial vein from after the brachial vein this is axillary vein and then subclavian vein on the other hand we can see this is the cephalic vein which is located along the outer aspect or lateral aspect of the arm and forearm and it travels and finally it opens at this point this is the axillary vein so it drains into the axillary vein and then axillary vein goes through the subclavian vein then this picture we can see basilic vein and cephalic vein they are the superficial structure because they are located outside the deep fascia here the whitish structure here the whitish structure are the is the deep fascia so cephalic vein and basilic vein they lies outside the whitish structure that means the deep fascia so they are the superficial structure of upper limb then here we can see this is a vein and is the artery and a communication between the vein and artery is artificially made and this is called fistula so this is uh, this fistula it is between the vein and artery so it is called artery venous fistula and here we can see this is the cephalic vein it also um, can be made by the basilic vein and other superficial vein so for dialysis or for in the fistula it is very easy uh, to access when it lies in the superficial area so in case of hand cephalic vein and basilic vein usually prefer for uh, 
preferred for the for making the arterio venous fistula and here we can see here it this is the cephalic vein here this is the basilic vein and it is very possible to make the arterial venous fistula this side and this side also so here in this area the cephalic vein and basilic vein they lie superficial that means superficial to the deep fascia of the arm and forearm uh, and we know that the basilic vein it uh, lies deep area only in the arm area that means uh, mid arm area and upward so here this region the basilic vein it lies superficial area so here our answer the first uh, a, it is deep anatomical location makes it unsuitable for use as an arteriovenous access site in fistula surgery it is not true because in this area the basilic vein basilic vein in this area it's located in the superficial area not in deep area so the basilic vein during the fistula surgery it lies in the superficial area not in the deep area then we can see it originate from the dorsal venous network of the hands it is true because from the dorsal venous arts both the cephalic vein and basilic vein form then it travels up to the uh, up the medial aspect of forearm it also true because the basilic vein it lies uh, is in the medial side of the forearm and arm also and the cephalic vein it located in the lateral aspect of the arm and lateral aspect of the forearm halfway between the shoulder and the elbow it lies deep to the muscle we saw it uh, in the picture that in the mid shaft area of the humerus or middle part of the arm it travels and it uh, pierces the deep fascia and enters into the deep fascia and finally it uh, drain into the brachial vein and brachial vein continues as an axillary vein followed by the axillary vein it continues as a subclavian vein then it is joined by the brachial vein to form axillary vein it is true because this basilic vein it drains first of all brachial vein and then it drains into the axillary vein so it is very short regarding the basilic vein and cephalic vein and super uh, superficial vein of the upper lip so thank you all